Then now Sports Center, we go for a college football game preview and prediction on the 2023 Holiday Bowl matchup between the Louisville Cardinals and the USC Trojans. Two teams that have very different dynamics heading into the Holiday Bowl. You got Louisville. This is a team that went 10-3 and this season. Made it to the ACC title game under first-year head coach Jeff Brom. Future is bright for Louisville. There's a lot of optimism around Louisville right now as this team could be the future of the ACC. And they're taking on USC on the other side. The Trojans went 7-5 and five this season. Overall, just a disappointing season for USC. Consider the experience this team had this season. Caleb Williams, this offense. It was just the defense that held USC back once again this season. That was kind of the story last year as well. It just was even worse this season. So for USC, a team that's definitely questioning their future, I think, after this season. At least they got a chance to take on a talented Louisville team to finish out the season. We'll be going over a full game preview and prediction on this matchup here today. Let's get started with their team trends. Louisville lost to Florida State 6-16 in the ACC title game. Uh, obviously a disappointing loss there for the Cardinals, but I mean, you got to give credit to Florida State's defense for holding Louisville's offense to six. This is an offense that's overall been really impressive this season. So uh, that was definitely surprising seeing that game as low scoring as it was. But for Louisville, 10-3 this season. They lost their last two games. They lost to Kentucky to finish out the regular season. So, But at one point, this was a 10-1 football team. So once again, for Louisville, a team that got up to 10 wins this season, really successful first season under Jeff Brom, and the future is as bright as ever for Louisville at this point. I really do think that. But for USC, lost UCLA 20-38. to This team just fell apart down the stretch. They started the season 6-0, looking like a true national contender. Obviously, the defense kind of uh, was increasingly getting worse heading into October, so that was definitely a concern. Uh, but for this team to fall apart as they did, definitely something that concerns me a bit. Uh, but obviously, the defense is a lot to blame for that. This defense is honestly, I mean, if you look at it statistically, it's one of the worst in the FBS. And this is a USC team when they're as talented as they really are offensively this season. It's just insane seeing USC end up at 7-5. and five. But games will be on Wednesday the 27th in San Diego, California. Kickoff is 5.30 p.m. Eastern. Spreads going Louisville by 7.5 here. So Cardinals are a uh, touchdown favorite in this matchup, which really doesn't surprise me when you consider uh, both sides. And obviously USC is without Caleb Williams, their star player in this game. And over under 57.5. FBI is still going USC 54%. You look at the bull history for both teams. Louisville is 11 and 12 overall. Last season, uh, they ended up in the Fenway Bowl where they beat Cincinnati 24 to 7. And then back in 2021, they lost in the first responder bowl. And they're in the Music City Bowl back in 2019. Uh, so this is the best bowl game in a few years for sure for Louisville. As for USC, 35 and 21 overall. This team has lost. Now uh, their last three bowl games, they were in the Cotton Bowl last season against Tulane. Uh, where it looked like they were going to win, but kind of collapsed in the fourth quarter. They lost Iowa in the Holiday Bowl back in 2019 and also were in the Cotton Bowl in 2017 against Ohio State. This is a team that's been to three bowl games in the past six years or so. And obviously, so you're under Lincoln Riley, a head coach that's obviously had a lot of success in his career so far. I think the future is still bright for USC, even though this was a disappointing season. They're in pretty good hands under Lincoln Riley, so I'm not... Do concerned about the future, but obviously, once again, this was, without a doubt, a pretty disappointing season for the Trojans. Stack comparison, Louisville 50th in points per game, 24th in points allowed. I feel like a lot of attention goes to Louisville's offense, which it should, but their defense has been overall really impressive this season as well. 13th in rush defense, 45th in pass defense, and this is a pretty balanced offense. You got Jack Plummer, who has had a great season, 3,000 yards, 21 touchdowns, 12 picks. Uh, obviously, you got to limit those turnovers. But you look at Jawar Jordan, over 1,100 yards of rushing, 13 touchdowns this season. He will not be playing in this matchup. He has declared for the NFL draft. So this team is without him, uh, which could make an impact. But, I mean, you're also looking at USC, who's without Caleb Williams. So it does kind of balance out. But you look at USC, 30 points per game, fourth in pass yards a game. This is a really strong passing game, as you would expect. You got strong receivers. You got uh, Caleb Williams this season, who is really a generational talent, it seems. And I still think Williams is, he's got a bright future in the NFL, but obviously you just expect more out of USC having a player like that as your quarterback. 
Uh, but 81st in rush yards a game, so not terrible in the backfield. Got Marshawn Lloyd, who's had a halfway decent season. And once again, it's the defense. 120th in points allowed. 110th ranked pass defense, 116th in rush defense. That number kind of surprises me. USC being the Pac-12, it makes sense to see the pass defense numbers uh, as as high as they are because uh, you're going up against so many talented quarterbacks in the Pac-12. That's kind of a trend for a lot of Pac-12 teams. But the rush defense being as bad as it is, 116th is definitely something that is concerning. In recent matchups, Louisville lost to Florida State by 10. They lost to Kentucky by a touchdown as well. So, Obviously, I mean, it's been a little bit of a disappointing finish to the season, but I feel like there's not much disappointment around Louisville, though, for this team to get up to 10 wins like they already have and possibly even 11 under first-year head coach Jeff Brom. But before that, beat Miami, beat Virginia, also beat Virginia Tech 34-3. And obviously, they have that huge win over Duke back in October 23 to nothing. But really, things started to, there was a lot of attention put on this team when they beat Notre Dame. A top 10 team back in October, beat them 33-20. to 20. Uh, That's really where this team started to shine and uh, put themselves in the spotlight. They obviously have that loss to Pitt, 38-21. to 21. I don't know what happened in that game. That was one of the more confusing losses of the season. I remember I wasn't even really paying attention to that game because I figured that uh, Louisville was just going just gonna to beat up Pitt, but... Then I checked the score after the game's done, and this and Louisville loses by 17. Just a, a stunning loss there. Not sure what happened there, but otherwise, this has been a pretty strong team this season. As for USC, they lost to UCLA, lost to Oregon, lost to Washington. Uh, the Oregon and Washington games were pretty close. Overall, it was just the defense couldn't hold off either team. And even though the U.S., I mean, this offense got it done against Washington, put up 42 points. And I mean, you look at the Cal game, that is a perfect example of this team this season. Most times, the offense got it done. They put up 50 in that game, but you allowed 49 points to Cal. Just uh, You just aren't going to win a lot of games allowing 49 points to uh, any team, let alone Cal, and they somehow found a way in the end. But your key points, Louisville 10-3, and three, futures bright under Jeff Brom. Got no Jawar Jordan, but still a strong offense here, so I'm still optimistic about this team, and they're a balanced team with strength. In all areas, very much different than USC, a team that is much uh, having to rely on their offense and just their defense is just bad. But I really do believe this, though. For USC, if their defense was better, even in the slightest, I feel like the Trojans uh, could have definitely been a true Pac-12 contender and honestly, a national contender. You look at the first six games, they started 6-0, and and I feel like the defense just started to weigh down this team, like the offense... Uh, just wasn't the same and I mean they put up 20 on Notre Dame lost that game 48 to 20 32 on Utah even though Utah's got a pretty strong defense so that is true but then 20 on UCLA uh, that that game especially I mean it was a 38 to 20 final score UCLA a team that isn't that strong all around like especially on defense I mean their defense is okay but USC to only score 20 there I think it just kind of Things just kind of fell apart for this team. That's the best way you can describe it. But Miller Moss will be the starting quarterback, it appears. So obviously, Caleb Williams off to the NFL. So it's going to be interesting to see how this team performs with a different quarterback under center. And that could give us some insight as well into what things could look like next season. But with that, let's get the prediction here for Louisville and USC coming up here in the Holiday Bowl. And in the end, I do want to take the Cardinals. 38 to 27 is my predicted final score. Louisville has had a really successful season. I feel like they cap it off with a win in this matchup. They're obviously a really well-coached team. First year, Jeff Brom, 10 wins, ranked 15th, heading into bowl season. I feel like Louisville's going to find a way here. USC is going to be able to put up some points, though. I think this offense will still uh, be halfway decent without Caleb Williams, but uh, the defense, I just can't trust the defense at this current point. And obviously, you got two teams with very different momentum. Louisville did lose their last two games, but... They've still had a season where they've really been successful. USC obviously has been a pretty big disappointment, plus they've lost five of their last six. This was a team that started out 6-0. and They finished their last six games 1-5. and So I think Louisville finds a way 55% towards the Cardinals here. Still think USC has a chance, though. I don't want to doubt the Trojans entirely. I am taking the over for this matchup, expected to be bit of a higher scoring matchup and Louisville to cover the spread in the end. But with that, let me hear your thoughts and comments below on this matchup. Obviously, a pretty interesting one with the storylines. But with that, my name's Evan. This is All Sports Central. Stay tuned for more. We'll catch you on the next one.